So, our ATI Omnimax hybrid that we've done really very little to, trying to see how this polymer lower and upper combo works uh, over long term. I did put on one of these minimalist stocks just to uh, take a lightweight rifle and make it even lighter. And we wanted to test out the Crux Ord muzzle brake. Threw a Pro Staff 5 on it and wanted to see what kind of groupings we could get, uh, bearing in mind that this is still a stock very um, non-ideal for grouping military style trigger and uh, just slapped the scope on didn't even really bother to zero just kinda got it close enough and wanted to see what kind of grouping we could get at 100 using three types of ammo we started with some wolf gold 55 grain included the Fioki extra rifle match which has Sierra Match King bullets uh, this is a 77 grain and some of this Ted Nugent ammo uh, which is loaded by Double Tap, who makes pretty darn good ammo, and this is a 55 grain Sierra Blitz King. So let's go out to the range and see how that does. Starting with the Wolf Gold 55 grain at 100 yards. Fioki 77 grain Sierra Match King. Ammo. This is loaded by Double Tap, 55 grain Sierra Blitz King. Eric and I each giving it five shots for a total of ten. The top target is a wolf gold. Looks to be about three and a half inches or so. Middle target, we swapped over to the Fioki and it tightened up to say three inches. And then down below was the Sierra Blitz King from Ted Nugent. About the same. So is it a match rifle? No. Does it work good enough? Sure. So coming back from the range, obviously our test had a number of flaws in it. For one, the scope not being quite dialed in. We were really short on time. Uh, and this trigger, though fine for a duty or plinking gun, does make it a bit difficult to group with. The reason why we did 10 shots, 5 with Erica and 5 with me, is to see what kind of uh, overall accuracy and, and try to reduce the factor of who's shooting. Uh, what we did see uh, is right around three inches, uh, not spectacular. I'd like to change out the trigger and see what we get from that. We also noticed that the Wolf Gold 
not known for being the best ammo. Wasn't terrible. The Fioki and the Ted Nugent ammo obviously did a whole lot better. Um, I take that back. They did better. Not a whole lot better. Whether or not it's worth the cost difference really depends on the kind of shooting that you're looking to do. Obviously with a budget gun like this, you can't expect too much. But what we did see is potentially uh, this rifle doesn't have really any worse accuracy than anything else in its price range, despite it being polymer. I mean, keep in mind this thing is $400. It's cheap. Uh, so we'll uh, upgrade the trigger in the future and head back out there, uh, perhaps on a better day, get a better zero going on our scope and uh, a better mount and see what we can get out of this thing. Are we looking to make a tack driver or a varmint gun? No, but I am curious with uh, polymer on polymer how much flexing actually happens in there. You know, the, the barrel of course is still metal, but where the barrel joins the upper receiver is there flexing. Other notes from our shooting. The uh, break here from Cruxord, um, hard to tell if it really reduces any recoil because 223556 is such a gentle round to begin with. Um, I can't say I was magically impressed. Uh, it's certainly louder, uh, but uh, I don't know, kind of have mixed feelings on it. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, those of you that have one of these, how good of a, sh of a groups have you gotten? Uh, those of you that are considering one of these, um, my take and my assumption is if you're shopping for a $400 AR, you're not necessarily looking for a varmint gun. Um, or maybe you're looking for a cheap skeleton on which to build a better gun. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for watching GB Guns. I'm assuming if you watch this far, you appreciate our format, or you're trying to figure out how to make that very argumentative comment. Either way, click the big griffin to subscribe. The Patreon link, since Google doesn't want to pay gun channels anymore, it helps with our ammo costs. Over here, for a video related to what you just watched, at least Google thinks so, or down here, for the playlist relevant to the video you just saw.